way here. What is this? Norton has managed to persuade McCoy and Powell and we're in mortal danger they intend to put to sea with the turn of the tide. And you didn't stop them? Seems little point in staying any longer. I'll be the judge of that, Mr. Hatton. What if Norton's right and the Zulu are rising up against us? Chaka will not allow it. it. Seems that some of his subjects do not always obey his word. I came here to trade, Mr. Hatton. I'll not leave till I've exhausted every possibility. That you already have. Stay if you want to, Mr. King. But you'll not stop us from leaving. You'd not tarry if you'd seen the savagery that I have. You're a traitor, Norton. And you're making a traitor out of Mr. Hatton. Get a provision, lads! We'll leave as soon as it's done! stomach for this than we have. Look, to our safety is not treachery, Mr. King. It's no more perfidious than sound sense. Let's get ready to put to sea. Come, John. Great elephant here, warrior kill white man. He very cross, he kill warrior. He say, white man, bring oil. No more kill white man. Why don't you go and hold his hands, son? 
Just unconscious. We must cauterize the wound quickly. Powder, bring some fire, John. Cloth, give me a cloth quickly. Stop that bleeding. Go, Mr. King. Hold him tight, huh? Mind your eyes, keep back. Should stop the bleeding. Get him some water, John. Bandage, quickly. I just pray the wound stays clean. But if he takes a fever... All the more reason for sending someone to Delagoa Bay. We need medicines. Apart from fittings and tools. I'm willing to go, Mr. King. We cannot build the ship without you. And I must be here to prevent any mischief. 600 miles of crocodiles and wild beasts. <laughs> Do you fancy that? I think you're forgetting the plight of Mr. Hatton. Without medicines, it could well be the end of him. McCoy, you give no thought to Mr. Hatton. Please, Lord, help me to decide. If he takes a fever, McCoy? Well, Phil same he does. You take the longboat and be gone tomorrow. I'll go. <laughs> you, John? I'll fetch the medicines in the oil for Shaka. Lad, your age, on your own. I can go more safely than a grown man. He'll not fear to distrust me. The king has promised. <laughs> well, it's a long journey over wild territory. I can find my way by the stars. I can speak a wee bit of Zulu. Besides, the Lord will be with me. The lad has pluck aplenty, Mr. King. And as he says, he might stand a better chance than a grown man. Do you really believe a half-grown lad could succeed in such an enterprise? With any other lad, I'd not give it a moment's thought. But this lad... You could be right. Not be better let the boy take a musket. No, it stays with me. Well, a compass at least. The compass will be more use to us when our new ship is ready to sail. Well, he'll bring it back. Will he, Mr. Brown? Will he indeed? Oh, I've no doubt he'd bring it back if he got back, but let's be practical. The chances of him getting there are slim enough, but to make the return journey. Then why let him go? His mind is set on it. He wants to save Mr. Hatton. And who knows? They say that miracles can still happen. Bye, Mr. King. You can still change your mind, lad. There'll be no shame in it. Well, we've given you what gold we have. There's not much else, except our prayers. I'll get there, Mr. King, and I'll get back. God be with you. He will, and we will. Goodbye, lad. Bye, Mr. Brown. Bye, Mr. King.
Wait, John! Just a little something for the trip. Thank you, Mr. Powell. Godspeed. Jacob. You know, for a man of the Corsa race, you seem to have a strange affinity for the Zulus. Oh, Zulu not friend with Corsa, but great elephant like me. Oh, as do the Zulu maidens, eh? Ah, Zulu not brother, Zulu my cousin. How? Where's John?
come. Go on. <laughs> Have you come to fetch me back? No. I go Delgoa Bay. King Shaka say I help you. You, Umfan, many bad warriors. Oh, uh -huh. oh before you talk. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit dizzy. You sit. Sit. Rest. Who can tell him for him? You must go on. No, stay. You got to go on. Go on, you're not sound. Take us ten years to get this vessel built. Be a lot better when the boy gets back with some proper tools. You don't believe it? <laughs> if Powell could be persuaded, he's too afraid of King, and he won't let us go on our own. He can't watch us every minute of the day and night, can he? Oh, shy, 
Any better? Oh Lord, please keep Mr. Hatton alive and strong until I get back with the medicines. King, Mr. King, the longboat's gone. Mr. King, look for yourself. They've taken it, taken the longboat. Where do you think they're heading, Mr. Brown? I have, uh, well, it's wind in the current. It must be Delagoa Bay. have you been here? One year. It's only four more to go. Five years in this place. You'll get used to it. You have to. Ah, Syed, my friend. They are called the Tsongo people. I made certain that you would get only the very best. The Tsongos are renowned all along this coast for their ability to work long and hard. The Tsongos are... In Dar es Salaam, I have seen superior to this. Oh. I have come far south, Commandant Gomez, in the expectation of some reward for the effort and the expense. All you have to show me is this. Sir, you condemn too hastily. Look at this one, look at the muscle, look at the power. <laughs> You will not find a better specimen in the whole of Africa. He's in prima condition. Stand up, bastardo, stand up. He speaks of human beings as a farmer speaks about cattle. The a butcher speaks about meat. Quietly, Manuel. He's like an ox. Only he will live much longer. <laughs> like an ox, he will work and at a very reasonable price. A reasonable price. But he is a little thin, perhaps. We came here for this? to chase after men and women and cage them like animals. What did they tell you in Lisbon? It was our duty to bring light into the darkness. <laughs> we were soldiers of the Enlightenment. I was also told that. And why are we helping the Commandant in this evil? Because once before, a soldier of the Enlightenment crossed swords with the Commandant in this matter. His punishment remains a reminder to us all. With reasonable feeding and a little fattening up, he will fetch a very good prize. Food has been prepared in my quarters. If you care to join me, we can discuss a price. I give the back? With a little refreshment and some wine. Where's the plan? Where's the plan? Where's the plan? What a bargain I am offering you. Beautiful. 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 Beauti
catch elephant. Tsonga put grass, elephant fall down. This is Tsonga land. We yes. must be getting close to Delagoa Bay. Yes. Let's go on. I will take the six best. It is a good price for such. Well, there has been famine in their area. When you fatten them up... It like... is not my responsibility to fatten them up. I buy only what I can see. Songless. Come, come, my friend. You must be joking. I will give you the whole lot for only ten sovereigns. There is a tribe of blacks whose name is known even in the Gulf. A noble race, a warrior race, a race of stature. Such material would fetch a high price. For such material, I would be prepared to pay accordingly. You are right. The Zulus, a warrior race indeed, led by a tyrant. His armies have slaughtered whole tribes and laid waste their land. We sail for the Gulf in three days. Perhaps by then. wound is not healing as we had hoped. Hey, hey, hey. Give me a hand here. It's all that. Right, get off. Has the pain lessened? Ah. Uh, uh. Just lie still. It's all we can do. And pray for young John. Zulu, very careful, John. Always watch for bad people. There can't be any danger now. Come on. Zulus. Devil take it. What madness is this? Show them only the face of friendliness. You, summon the Arab. Salan Pansumato. Salan. Wait here, I'll go.
Be careful, John. You understand English? English? Where are you from? You and this? On our charts, it's Mac Natal Bay. Ah, here, Natalia? On foot? Aye, all the way. Arubutan. We can get everything we need. They'll give us food for tonight and we can sleep in the fort. Oh, John. What is my toilet in the old Lala Lapire? Food is in a toilet no good. I see in my toilet. What's that? Zulus? They carry weapons. They would not have entered without them. They would have smelt danger. The gate is locked. The trap is closed. When do you propose to deal with them? When you and I have reached agreement. The gold. All the gold for that black ivory. <laughs> no. Not all the gold. The Zulus have no great affection for slavers. If they were to find out what it is that you do, why you are here, I would not like to be in your shoes. All the gold, half now, the other half when they are safely in chains ready for you to take delivery. I saw a white boy with them. His story is that his ship was wrecked at Bahia, Natalia. He says he has come for medicines for his shipmates and Mokasa oil for the Zulu king, Shaka. His uh, story? Clearly, the boy has come to investigate the strength of the garrison. The Zulu must be planning to expand their influence into this region. The boy has come to spy for Shaka. And you let him in? But I will not let him out. However, it occurred to me that if we conclude our business to our mutual satisfaction, I shall be glad to include the boy at no extra charge. Enter. Traders from the east. You are fortunate. They have brought a shipment of Mukasa oil. I wish to discuss that, sir. We'll be leaving at first light. But you must stay a little longer, a few days at least. It's taken us 20 days to get here. It's a long way back, and the medicines are badly needed. Antonio, see to it he has everything he needs. Comandante. Tomorrow morning. 
morning. For Shaka. This is my castle for Shaka. Shaka Zulu. That's right, big chief. This for Ivory. Ivory. Elephant. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Who's that? <laughs> 